They have reduced governance to sharing lives, and in the process, they are killing people all over the place. Another casualty, two people have been, have been said to have died in Nasarawa State where they were trying to share rights to students. They were kept in one place, so many people kept in one place, and before you know what's happening, there was stampede going on. I know some people will come and say, oh, why was there stampede? Why are people kept in the sun in this heat? People are not looking for who to buy rice for them. They don't, they don't want anybody buying rice for them. They want to be able to afford their own rice. Once upon a time, just less than a, a decade ago, buying rice was not the issue. Issue of governance. Governance have constantly been reduced. The last time it was reduced to just building road. As long as you build road, chicken, now you are seen as a, 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 a giving good governance. Every other thing, industries, other human development uh, indexes, they didn't matter. All that mattered is, oh, you build roads, chicken, now you paint some schools, you build walls around schools. It doesn't matter that you're not providing the teachers the right good quality education, the, the, the teaching um, materials that are required, the conducive environment for learning. Nobody bothered about how oh, they painted the school. Now, all of that is not too much. APC have reduced it to just give people food. Nasarawa, again, I did a video some time ago uh, on New Central where I am a co-host on at the place a place at the table where I talked that there that was the uh, conversation I had was on the uh, custom issue where they had gone ahead to go and share uh, rice to people that one was seven people were buying it at a reduced price and a, 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 about seven people ended up dying I said these are things you we can share things in a more humane respectful manner that does not dehumanize people but of course. Nigerians are not, uh, it, it seems that's not what the, the, the whole game plan of APC is all about. Tinibusi legitimate government wants people to be extremely hungry so that at the end of the day, maybe when election comes, it brings one packet of spaghetti, it's going to take 10 people to join and share one packet of spaghetti. That's what they will use to buy every uh, people over because when they've impoverish the people make the people extremely hungry then people will be forced to you know uh, uh be slaves that can be bought with anything no matter how small the food is it's it's just crazy all of these things that is going i've also seen Kano state uh you know governor talking about he going for an inspection where they are cooking food ramadan food for people and then of course you know, he's talking about the fact that, oh, uh, the, 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 he's disappointed in the quality of food. Why are you in the first place? Why are you the one doing the cooking? Why can't you even give them, if it's a madam package, whatever, give them, give people conducive environment. People are not waiting to be spoon fed. People want government's business is to produce conducive environment for, you know, for there, for people to try, for people to be able to get disposable income. Put in the, the fiscal policies, put in the monetary policies that we allow citizens to be able to have more disposable income at their disposal. This is what they want. Not this, uh, oh, okay, uh, peanuts that, you're, that are being given to people anyhow. And then that's, that's just uh, the thing. Uh, that's just it. That's just it. It's actually you know, so extremely uh, crazy, all of these things that, that, that are just out there. And, and it's really so... I don't even know the word I, I, I want to use for it. It's, it's actually disgusting the way you see. Now, just bringing bag of rice is what is in us. Oh, this person is trying so well. They shared bag of rice. They shared. People are forgetting, forgetting that that's the bag of rice that they could afford. Yeah. You could literally afford to buy a bag of rice. In a base, most how you have like bag of rice or quarter bag of rice. You have like uh, uh, maize. For those who eat maize, yam, gari, all of these things, food in the house. Now there are no food in the house because they've taken money away from your pocket. They've taken businesses away from you. They've taken away your source of livelihood. They've impoverished everything. They're not doing the basics anymore. And they're just leaving people at the place where all you need to give people is food for them to say, oh, you are doing very well. After they have made you poor. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You know, when you think about these things, you just want to go crazy. Because like, And especially when you see people who are not seeing it. That, oh, you know, they are doing so well. They shared price for people. Yeah, that was right. You didn't need anybody sharing for you because you could afford it. But what they have done right now is that they've taken away the power of you being able to afford that. And now they've left you to one that they can just give you crumbs, give you peanuts, 
give you rights and that becomes uh, uh, important to you. It's, it's, it's so crazy, you know, all of these things are the, the, the way, the, the way they, they really, they really do go uh, on. And it's, it's, it's unbelievable, really. It's, it's really uh, unbelievable. And it's so, so crazy, like I said earlier on. Whew. May the soul of the dead rest in peace. I saw, you know, they are, they, and they were there, they are, their corpses just laid down like that. No dignity, nothing, just on the floor. Gosh. One was a 200 level student, the other one a 400 level student. You just see, you know, you just see things like this. You're like, what really is the value of the Nigerian life? If that life isn't valued, what, what makes you think your life or my life would be valued? And these are the reasons that make us constantly talk. We're not talking because we like to make noise. We're talking because we want every one of our lives to be important to our government. That's the only way we can matter. Right now, it's just unbelievable the condition that people have been thrown, thrown into and what people are forced to do for them to be able to, you know, survive. And the inhumane way that government goes about sharing this thing. Like I said before, when I did that interview, uh, on, uh, no, that, not that interview, the session, the advocacy session we had on a place at the table is that custom could easily, and even these people that shared this thing in Nesarazo could easily have counted the number of people that number of food items they have it is if it is bag of rice how many bags of rice do you have how many people are you going to have get vouchers produce vouchers if it's 100 bags produce 100 vouchers if it's 500 or 1000 bags do 1000 vouchers and then when people come as they are coming in first come first start share the vouchers to them the moment the, the, the vouchers are shared that's it everybody knows that's the number of rice that's all no need of waiting. Even if you want the governor or whatever to come and meet them, talk to them, because of course Nigerians like uh, Nigerian uh, rulers who don't govern very well. They always like all of these ceremonies that they do, where they will come and they come and give long speeches over the fact that you've impoverished the people, and now you're giving them food and you're feeling as if you've done something. Then they can relax because nobody is trying to say, "Oh, I have to be in front of the line." Or everybody have now gotten their voucher. They can just sit down and relax and wait, wait for you. When you now come, they cannot come and be under the sun it's been very hot in nigeria imagine keeping people under the store sun for them to go through if you see the number i saw some of the videos if you see the number of people and when they broke loose the the, the gate the, the the kind of pressure you know coming from there is it, just so it's just so sad and just so uh unbelievable and again our uh, lives have been lost you know, the cost of bag of rice. Now, it's now the, the human life. Some people are having to pay uh, 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 for rice with their lives. Wow. Wow. That's deep. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's deep. Some people are having to pay with their lives for a bag of rice. A bag of rice now costs some people their lives. Wow.